Okay, so continuing um, with the problem that I started um, in the last video, AC circuit one. So um, the problem here says uh, find effective value of voltage for waveform. So from the book, from the handbook, I have XEF is equal to XRMS is equal to um, one T. Okay, because I have a um, squared there, one half, so it'll be square root anyway. So I have one T, one over T. Zero T. X two. T D T. Oh, I can't see. Okay, so that's XEF. Now, um, here the question is asking for voltage, so um, I'm gonna apply V. So my VRMS would be equal to square root of. 1t, same thing, right? 0t, but then I'm dealing with voltages here. So v squared of t dt. This is the square root of all everything. Okay, so the um, the graph that's given here is uh, V per T, V of T per T. Okay, so I'm gonna have to integrate here. So let me get a red pen. Okay, so I have, um, what I have here is, um, basically I have two valleys of, of voltages here, so I get this one over here. If I'm going to integrate, I'm going to add them. And from this and this over here. And as we can see here, um, this is the, the frequency here. Um, the not frequency, but the um, how do they call that? Uh, this is. Um, T over two, the period is half, right? Is half over two, okay? So if I'm integrating um, because of the uh, sinusoidal wave that I have out there, so this is VRMS, is uh, square root of one T, big one. Okay, so I'm integrating from zero to two and a half first. That's the period right there. And this right here from zero to two and a half, the voltage is at four. Okay, between this over here. The voltage, the maximum voltage here is at four. Okay, so I'm integrating 4, so that's 4 squared. Oops. So that's 4 squared dt plus another one. And now it's going to be from t squared to the actual period t. Right? And now, um, um and now uh from t and a half this one over here the voltage is two the voltage is two 
So I'm integrating to 2. dt, 2 squared dt. And this is for the whole thing. And that's it. This is pretty straightforward from here. Uh, VRMS is uh, 1t square root of uh, that's 16 so that's 16 t going from 0 to t half plus 4 t it's constant going from t half to t okay so this is 1t square root of 16t over 2 and of course the 0 nothing so plus 4t minus 4t and half Okay, so VRMS is so VRMS is finally one T square root of um sixteen minus four is twelve. T six that's, that's ten T. Okay, so we have ten T here. Oh, did I take the one T out of the square root? If I do that, I'll have to put squared here. Sorry. Yeah. So that will be ten T. Ten T. And um, we can put the one T back in. I shouldn't have even gotten that out in the first place, but it's the same thing anyway. So we can put it back in or take this out. It would be the same answer, but putting it back in, I think that would make our answer a little easier. So it would be that. And so the final answer is 10. Take this out, 10. So square root of ten. So so VRMS is equal to square root of ten. And that's three something. Three sixteen. That's it. So this one I just applied a formula from the book from the handbook. Integrate. Um using the waveform that's given and that's pretty much it okay next problem that I have selected um, what is the power dissipated by an electric heater with resistance R equals 50 ohms drawing a current of 20 sine 30 T amps so what's power power is equal to we're dealing with this is ac circuits remember that so r i would be um the rms r the, the rms i okay so i squared rms times that and this particular current that's given this is I max it's I max um, sine 30 T sine Omega T I guess right so but we know that um, I RMS 
is equal to i max over square root of 2. Okay, so I our i max here in this particular um, number given is 20. So i r m s is 20 over square root of 2. And so we can go ahead and plug, plug that in here. So p is equal to uh, 20 squared over 2 times 50. And that's um, ten thousand. Let's see. Twenty squared times five. Over two. Fifty. R is fifty. So that should be divided by two. Yeah, so that's ten. What? And that's it. It was a pretty short video because it's a continuation of the last one. Um, this is under AC circuits. So next time I will solve some problems under, um, let me look at the book, the handbook. Um, I've already covered, uh, let's see, maybe AC power, yeah, power. So I'll, I'll solve problems under power. See you next time.